All right, guys, we need to breathe. Take a deep breath. We all know what's inside this box. We all know that it is life changing. We've been waiting for it for half our lives. And it's just like the best thing ever. But we need to breathe. We need to come down. All right, all right. Now we can finally talk about what's in this box without exploding with enthusiasm. For those who are uneducated, in this box is the Disney Cars Snowmobile, aka a carified reindeer, as in like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Mattel canceled this guy way back in 2010. A couple prototypes leaked on eBay. I know one person who has it, but other than that, it is super, super rare. I don't have it. And now Mattel decided, hey, 2021, 11 years later, guess it's time to finally release the reindeer. So here we are. There's two of them in this case. Gonna open up one in a future video and keep one package. And I am just so excited. Might even have to get more because, you know, Santa car is gonna need a lot of snowmobiles to pull his sleigh. So we're gonna get right into it. Obviously, they are calling this Christmas holiday line wintertime cruisers. So just, you know, trying to be super you know, inclusive of all religions that maybe don't necessarily celebrate Christmas. So I like to see it. that. I like the name. It's very nice. Case A. Maybe there will be a case B, although I doubt it. I think this is, you know, one and done. They're just going to produce this throughout the holiday season because it pretty much has everybody you need. It has 12 pieces in it, 12 cars, a couple duplicates. I don't really see them doing a second wave. Maybe next year, but this year I think this is all we're getting. I got this from my main supplier, Get Me Collectibles. Check out his eBay store in the description below. And also, if you want to order a case like this, just email him using the address in the description as well and inquire about it. He's super easy to talk to and has you know some really good deals. He's got a lot of stock, that's for sure. All right, let's get right into it. I don't know what else is necessarily in this case because I don't really care. All I care about is getting the reindeer, who I also like to call deerlet. I mean, like a piglet, but you know, like a deerlet. I don't know. Somebody called it that one time. It's kind of an inside joke and it just really stuck with me. These are made in Vietnam because they are expanded universe technically. Only like the mainline stuff is made in Thailand. Although I think there was something lately that was made in Thailand. I was like, what? I didn't think this was made in Thailand. So mainline and then maybe a couple other things. All right. Wow, look at that. They have the reindeers in the corners. They're just trying to fool us. All right, we're going to start up here with the maters here. Oh, they're all crammed in here. I hope they're in decent condition. So this is technically like a brand new series, brand new packaging that Mattel has never used before. They've done similar series in the past where they put the Christmas cars in special packaging, but none that's ever directly matched this basically snow ridden version of Radiator Springs that we've never really seen before. As you can see in the background there, it's kind of hard with Mater because he's so big, but there's snow on all the buildings and whatnot. It's really cool because we've never seen that in any media. So it's kind of exclusive to this packaging. It's also kind of interesting because that Mattel just did Ramon and Lady McQueen Holiday Hotshot McQueen in the main line in 2021, making it seem like they're now doing all holiday stuff in the main line and not doing them in separate lines. You know, Easter stuff used to be a separate line like this. Christmas stuff was a separate line. 2021, they put all that stuff in the main line, but now we're going back to the series. And it kind of makes sense though, because these are all a little bit bigger. I don't know, they have some more accessories. I don't know, I feel like these totally could be mainline cars instead of, I don't know, these will probably retail for like $5.99 each. Yeah, these totally could be mainline, especially, yeah, like these ones. Maybe McQueen, Mater are a little bit bigger. The Reindeer could totally be a mainline release as well. So, I don't know. Mattel's just kind of fishing for some extra cash, I guess. Maybe they're like, hey, we got special packaging for you as well. 
But then again, is it really that special? Because we don't have a picture of the character on here. But anyways, it is nice packaging. I like the gear snowflakes around kind of like the snow globe of Radiator Springs, which is what this is supposed to be. But anyways, we have nice new name tags with some snow on it. Mater here. This is just like your regular Mater, not the reindeer one. And also, these are now all variants. These are all new technically because of the fact that they're made in Vietnam and not China. So I won't really do a comparison of all these because they are pretty similar, but I will show the ones I have out here. I like the stock images for these. You can see the ones that they made new images for. For example, Sarge, that's a new image. Luigi, or yeah, Luigi is a new image. Obviously, Ramon and the reindeer are new because they are actually new releases. Doc might be new, but I'm pretty sure Sally and McQueen, those are old stock images. I'm happy they put them on the back here so you can collect them all. So there's two of Mater in this case. Makes sense. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting, where will these be sold? These have been out for a very long time in Europe. I'm not exactly sure what stores. I think maybe Smythe's, Smith's or Smythe. I'm not sure how they pronounce it. But that store, maybe like The Entertainer, is that a store? Maybe Asda as well. I'm not entirely sure, but they have been all over Europe over the last two months. And now resellers are getting them in the United States, but no one has actually found them at an American store. And same thing with like, Canadian stores, Australian stores, Mexican stores. So who knows what's going on with that. Mater looks like he got a new stock image as well there. It would kind of stink if these don't show up at any retail locations. I mean, they, they have to, right? But you never know with these expanded universe lines just because of the fact that it's hard for retailers to take on them just because there's a level of uncertainty with how they sell. That's why they stick to singles, two packs, and stuff that they know is, you know, going to sell. I'm sure this stuff would sell, though, pretty well. It's kind of like that drive-in series I was talking about in my hunt episode that's just now being found at Target stores despite coming out like a year and a half ago. All right, we're going to skip the reindeer because we saved the best for last. Here's another McQueen. So two McQueens, two Maters. Oh my goodness, three McQueens. That's a little excessive. Mattel could have included two of Sarge or Doc or Luigi and Guido or Ramon or Sally, but three of McQueen. I don't like that decision, but I am not one to make decisions. All right, here we have Sarge. I do wish they like actually name them as they are. Like these guys all have like specific names. For example, Mater's like Wee Who Mater, like Wee Who Winter Mater, I think. But I guess they just assume like you know it's the winter holiday version of these characters. We don't need to put it on the name tag. So I guess that makes sense, but these all do have like unique names that I like to see. So here we have Sarge, who actually was new in 2017. He wasn't released back in 2010 like the rest of them. So it's nice to see him back. He looks pretty crisp, pretty clean. Yeah, I like Sarge. Kind of an interesting decision to include him over... Fillmore, whoa, what is going on here with Doc? Doc is trying to escape. He's kind of wedged in a weird spot there. I don't know. Yeah, he's kind of popped out of the blister. Yeah, there's no moving him. He looks pretty good, too. Looks like there's some weird stuff going on his tire there. There's like a couple blemishes. That's a little disheartening. Other than that, looks pretty clean. I always like this version of Doc because the blue was kind of metallic-y. Although it looks like Vietnam dialed that back a little bit. You can see here with China, there's a little bit more of a sparkle in the paint. I'm glad they decided to include Doc though. Looks like they're doing opaque windows instead of transparent. 
<laughs> Santa hat looks pretty much the same though. Doc Hudson. Cool. All right. Who we got next? Let's go with Sally. This is the last re-release. Otherwise, everyone after this technically has something new about them. She looks kind of different because of the fact that she has an eye plate now. So you can see that the eye plate there is separate from the main body. There's like a crack around it. Same thing with the mouth. I didn't think they were doing mouth plates on these guys. I don't really like mouth plates because the plastic kind of reflects the paint in a different shade. Typically, you can see that those blues don't exactly match. I don't know why Mattel always has struggled with that. But yeah, Sally looks pretty good. Oh, uh, maybe not. I don't really like how the earmuffs are so far off. It almost doesn't look like they're earmuffs because they don't bend down to cover her, her windows there. This one's like floating in midair, and the other one over on this side looks like it is as well. <laughs> it looks kind of silly when they don't bend down like that. I think the Chinese version does a much better job. Hold on one sec. Yeah, you can see in her stock image that they bend down a little bit better. Hmm. Snow Day Sally, this one was always called. And then this was like decked out Doc Hudson. I'll probably put the actual names in the description. I don't remember all of them. I think they just called Sarge, Sarge with roof lights. All right, let's go Luigi and Guido next here. So you might wonder what's so new about Luigi and Guido. Well, the gift is in different wrapping paper. Before, he had like a red and green gift. I think it was red with green ribbon. And now it's blue with white ribbon. So that's cool. Mattel is smart. They know what to do to get people to come back and buy it again. Now, this is a little disappointing here. I can tell. All right. Hold on. So you can see here with Luigi, he has like white stars intermixed in his paint job. Like, bing, 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 bing. Okay. Really nicely done. Like, it's a nice touch. Like I can barely see them here on this Vietnam version. I can see them, but they are super duper faint. Super duper faint. So I'm kind of disappointed about that because that's a pivotal detail to him. That's like one of the main additions that makes him special. And they just kind of removed it, made him really faint. Like the one I could see the best is just like right there. Guido looks fine though. His scarf always moves up and down from what I can remember. Yeah, that's kind of upsetting, bro. It's like, come on, Vietnam, Vietnam, what you doing? So one of that one. Now we're going to get into the fun stuff. Here we have a new Ramon. So this Ramon has a new paint job from the one they released in the 2021 mainline. Christmas Cruiser Ramon, I think they call it. This is a Ramon that has never been seen before. I don't believe it's kind of like intro Ramon, but with snowflakes, gear snowflakes, and a slightly different design, some like wrapping paper ribbon here. So yeah, it's basically like intro Ramon mixed with the Christmas Cruiser version. So that's cool. I will be reviewing this guy in his own video as well. So definitely stay tuned for that if you want to see more. I wish they did something more with his expression, but oh well. We didn't come here for anything that I just showed you. Like literally everything I just showed you, I don't even care about. No, that's not 100% true. But we are playing up the fact that we indeed have the longly anticipated snowmobile reindeer deerlet whatever you want to call it here he is look how small he is look at all that blister space that they're just wasting totally could have been a mainline release but i am so so willing to spend a couple extra bucks to get this guy i would spend a lot of extra bucks if i was able to get a prototype version or if i had the chance to but i guess my patience has served me well because Mattel decided to re-release or release this guy, uncancel and release. 
He looks awesome. I don't want to show him off too much because I will do a solo review on him. But he looks awesome. He's our Moto de Nieve. Moto Nieve. Or Moto Nieve. I like these other languages. That literally translates to like the, the car of snow. Or like the, I guess, snow mo the mobile of snow. <laughs> Direct translation. Not interpretation, though. So, yeah. Two of them. Good call, Mattel. Very smart. They know. They know that we've wanted this guy for 11 years. They are fully aware. And they have sat on him for all this time now. And then they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll give him two. We'll put two in the case. But that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Kind of fills the void because we haven't done a singles case unboxing in a while. Case L has been delayed and Case M is MIA. As in, no one has even found it across the entire world. So hopefully soon though, hopefully these delays ease up and we can you know, get on the 2022 as well. Let me know who's your favorite in this case. I feel like most people will choose the reindeer. So if you do choose the reindeer, tell me who is after that. My favorite would be Ramon. But that's probably some recency bias just because he's new. I feel like if I took an objective perspective, it would be like Doc or McQueen. Luigi definitely took a hit because his stars aren't as visible. So I'm a little disappointed about that. But overall, I'm happy that they've done this Wintertime Cruiser series. And I hope it shows up at some American retail stores soon. And Canadian and Australian and everywhere else as well. I'm sorry if I make you guys feel excluded. I really do. All right. I'll see you guys soon for reviews of these cars. Bye now. We'll